Hello friends, my name is Sumit and welcome to my channel, A Bird's Eye View. So basically this is my first video in the Bird's Eye View and hence it becomes quite important for me to make you understand the objectives and roles of my channel so before going into the video i would like to have a short conversation on what my channel is all about so the birds eye view is meant to provide information and facts on different issues different topics different uh, people and different places so a lot of things are there on which we are going to make videos on which we are going to provide you with facts and not just facts but research and detailed information that would be helping you in different arenas of day to day life. If we are going to talk about different political issues, certain geographical issues, certain controversies, certain movements, we are also going to provide you with travel documentaries and then we would be also having uh, some documentaries on legendaries is on legends, on history, people with a lot of importance who have been forgotten or who are talked about a lot. So there are a lot of things which are coming up in my channel. So the basic aim of the channel as can be seen, as can be seen, is that to spread knowledge. In India it's a saying that knowledge is like an infinite ocean. So obviously we are not we would not be able to provide you with all the facts. So we want your cooperation and would expect a return of different unique facts which even would be new to us. So we are going to provide you with detailed and researched facts on different aspects of a particular topic or a particular place or whatever I said before and all these things could be provided you within a short span. So a bird's eye view is a novice channel and we would like to have your support through your subscriptions. Do subscribe my channel, press the bell icon to get the notifications as soon as I upload a video and then if you appreciate our video, our work then please hit the like button too and share it with your friends, your relatives and your whole circle of influence within your whole circle of influence so that all this knowledge facts informations and all those things that are going to be very much helpful in a day to day life while you are conversing having a conversation with someone on, on the daily global issues so it will be helpful to all of them so this is what our channel is basically meant for now if I go on with the topic that we have chosen for the first video, it is quite controversial. Uh, not just con not controversial because of uh, its history, but because of the presence. Uh, what I am saying about the history and the present will be clear only after you look the video, look into the video and I will request you to watch till the end. We are going to talk about the issue that has attracted the global attention for almost a decade and every year uh, talk, uh, talks and speeches and debates are going on on this topic but this year it has gained a lot more importance because of the involvement of several other countries like China and England, uh, the USA all these countries are getting involved in this and a lot of controversies have also taken place uh, on, on this particular issue so we have decided to launch our first video with this topic only and we are trying to provide you with all the facts necessary to you on this topic that we have found, that are found to be correct. So without being biased to any particular party, we are providing you with the un unbiased version of everything. So please do see the video till the end. So what's this video is all about? It's about the Hong Kong protests. So the Hong Kong 
protests has been going on for a long time now but it has gained a lot of attention in the year 2019 because of its magnitude so we are going to in the video that is coming up we will be discussing about why this magnitude of the Hong Kong protests have increased so much what are the things uh, which has made this protest so look so big than previous uh, in the history in the past so we will be talking about all those things so now let's have a look on what are the topics or the points of discussion of this video. Let's have a look on the POTs. With these POD's on hand, we are going to venture into the depth of this topic on this issue with researched facts. So please see the video till the end and if you appreciate the video, please do like it and subscribe to the channel with the bell icon pressed and share it with your friends and do comment on how you think our video could be made more better or what you think about this issue and how the issue can be settled as per you and all those things that comes up in your mind about the video or the issue please cooperate with us and provide us with your suggestions through the comment section so now let's see the video video meet you after the video have a nice watch hong kong a place with beautiful skyscrapers and voluminous investments is a dream for many. Situated to the east of mainland China, this region has been in news for a long time now. This beautiful tourist destination is always in the midst of pro-democracy protests. People with blankets are now a common scene over there. What are these protests all about? In order to understand this, one must go back into the past and search for the answer. So let's do it. Hong Kong was earlier a part of the Chinese Empire until it became a British colony on January 25, 1841, after China lost to the Union Jack in the First Opium War. Hong Kong ceded to the British through the Treaty of Nanking, which was the peace treaty with the Qing Dynasty. After 156 years of rule over the region, the English finally decided to leave, thereby declaring the end of the British Empire. But, like every other British decolonization, they left behind a series of complex controversies and problems. The prime question was whether to leave Hong Kong as a sovereign nation or hand over it to the People's Republic of China. But after the so-called talks among them, they proposed to allow China to have a partial control over the region and make it a special economic zone which would have its own legislative, economic and justification pass. After all these controversies, Hong Kong finally became a part of China on 1st July 1997. When its special administrative zone status, Hong Kong kept governing its own systems separate from mainland China. Everything looked fine from outside, but with the arrival of the pro-Beijing leaders, 
the seeds of protests were sowed down. Pro-democratic groups sowed up and demanded of a sovereign democratic nation separate from China. These mostly peaceful protests were held annually in the region, specifically on the anniversary of the handover. Initially, it was a matter of concern, but slowly it got only local attention. But if this matter is so old, then why discuss it now in 2019? The prime reason behind this is the magnitude of the protest. The protests began on 31st March with a gathering of 12,000 people. But this time, it was not just for democracy, but against a legislative bill. The protests gradually grew in size with each passing day. While on 28th April, there were 1,30,000 people on street. On 9th June, it was 2,40,000. Breaking all records, a voluminous crowd of 2 million people gathered on the day the bill was tabled, that is, on 12th June. On the day of handover anniversary, the account reached 5,50,000. As you must have heard that this time the protests are not just for democracy but against a bill. So it becomes compulsory for us to know about what this bill is all about and why it is facing so many speed breakers. The bill we are talking about was tabled by the government of Hong Kong under the official name of Fugitive Offenders and Mutual Legal Assistance in Criminal Matters Legislation Amendment Bill or simply the Fugitive Extradition Bill. As per this bill, if any fugitive or accused Hong Kong citizen is to be trialed, then he or she can be extradited to mainland China and face the justification over there. This bill came to existence only after a Hong Kong couple was found convicted in a homicide in Taiwan. As Hong Kong doesn't have an extradition treaty with Taiwan and China disagrees on Taiwan's sovereignty, there was no way out but to table the bill. But as soon as the bill got tabled in February, protesters began complaining, which finally led to the protests we see now. As per the protesters, who include lawyers, students, teachers, and people from all spheres of life, the bill is a way of curbing the remaining democratic rights and throwing the people into the clutches of communist justification. With the protests gaining strength, the people kept five demands in front of the government. The first and the foremost demand was the complete withdrawal of the bill with no attempts of tabling it in the future. Next was the resignation of Chief Executive of Hong Kong, Carrie Lam, under whose leadership the bill was considered. Third was the release an exonivation of protesters, while fourth was the accountability of police force. To retract the characterization of the 12th June protests as riots was the fifth demand. In order to fulfill the demands, the people were opting for several methods like civil disobedience, street protests, internet activism, mass strikes, etc. The protests were mostly peaceful, but not for long. News of police class 
started spreading like forest fire. Following which, there were incidents of destroying the pro-Beijing symbols inside the Legislative Council. These protests gained more attention as soon as it got support rallies from different corners of the world. Places like New York, Tokyo, London, Paris, Berlin, Sydney and San Francisco saw similar rallies. Many persons of influence, which included Britain's Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt, English PM Theresa May, and US President Donald Trump, commented in near support of the protests. On the contrary, China seems to pay no heed to it and has asked global leaders not to indulge in its territorial matters. Even the Chinese media seems to be censoring the posts and the protests. After all this, Hong Kong Chief Executive Gary Lam finally apologized and declared the bill to be dead. But the protests still continued. As for the protesters, none of the demands are completely fulfilled. With this, the protest is still continuing after four long months. There has been over 72 injuries and over 50 arrests till now, but the situation still seems to be volatile. Whatever conclusion one may draw, at least this is a sign to the older democracies to save their systems because there are people who are still fighting for it. At the end, let's have a full review. So this is the end of it, but not of the issue, but of the video. The issue is still volatile, Hong Kong protests are still going on, it has been almost four months and even more, and there is no sign that it will calm down sooner. A lot of pro-democrat uh, people are on the streets and recently some deaths have occurred. Uh, Hyundai, the protest is called martyrdom. So all these things are going on. And democracy is obviously an important issue. Democracy is the need of the hour and every country would appreciate that. But still, if certain countries are not appreciating it, then it becomes an issue like this. Hong Kong protest has been a remarkable uh, movement, a pro-democracy movement, which has been appreciated by many countries but has also been uh, disagreed by many others. So what are your views on this? Please help us know and as I had said before also please do like our video and help us grow our channel into a bigger family. So next video is coming up to you very soon and till that you would have pressed the bell icon you would have you would be getting the notifications as soon as we post a video next. So till that, have a nice day, good, and spread knowledge with everyone and help people out there with uh, informations and facts on different aspects because as much you get exposed to information and facts, the more you get involved in the day-to-day -day, uh, global life and the more you, uh, uh, you, you broaden your mindset. So with that note, 
थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड नमस्कार